I'm making an updated video for the school messenger email system because as I was helping Tanya I noticed that uh, her screen looks a little different than my screen because I'm an administrator. So we're going to do two things today. The first thing we're going to do is subscribe to a list I created called Jeff's Test List. And basically you might want to use that because uh, if you ever want to test a message out or send it, it'll only go to me. Um, before you send it out to the masses. So that might be something you might want to do just as you're getting used to this. Uh, and then after that we'll actually create a message to send to that list. So basically to subscribe to that list the first thing we're going to do is from within PowerSchool here go down to School Messenger and when you are in School Messenger um, you will go to uh, Broadcast. And when you go to Broadcast there are a little button called list here. You'll see right now that my test list is already listed there um, because I've already done this but you probably won't have that there. So what you're going to do is go to the subscribe to a list link right here and go ahead and see this one called Jeff's test list and you would click that and it'll say subscribe and then that way you'll be subscribed to it. Okay, That's just a good test thing you can do. Now let's go ahead and create a broadcast uh, email blast here. So we're going to go to a new broadcast and when I get to the new broadcast I'm just going to call this one a test message. So I'll type in that one. It's going to be a general message. I'm going to go to the add message recipient lists. Now obviously if I was doing this for my full families for my building I would check you know FCS families um, but right now I'm just going to do one to the test list to make sure that it works. So I'm going to click Jeff's test list. It'll tell you that there's one person in this list, just me. Um, there's 870 in the high school families and 39 in the uh, alternative high school families. At any rate I'm going to click add recipients like that um, and then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to hit continue. Uh, the next thing I'm going to do is decide what kind of message it's going to be. This is going to be an email message and this box is going to pop up that says email stationary preview. I've created stationaries for all of you with your building information down here in the footer um, and you all should have rights to your building one. Uh, you can also tell which one it is because down here it says HS email template. So that is the one that we're going to use because I'm obviously writing from the high school. So I'm going to use selected stationary. The next thing I do is uh, from name you could just say something like uh, you know Fruitport High School here and then you might want to put your email address here. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'll, even though I'm, I'm, I'm pretending that I'm Tanya I'm going to uh, put mine in there and I spelled it right. I have the subject there. Now you'll see down here we have this nice little stationary area going. Uh, and where it says text information, I'm going to go ahead and just click this text information. I'm going to say, good morning. This is a test message. Now you notice uh, I'm, I'm a kind of a, a double clicker here and that's not really the best when you're inside this system because it already double spaces for you. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of that one. I'm just clicking the cursor there and hitting the delete key. And then when I'm done with my message I just click anywhere outside of that text box and that little thing will go away. If I wanted to attach a file I could go ahead and uh, grab this and, and, and grab a file and maybe attach it if I wanted to. I'll, I'll attach this uh, spreadsheet here. Hit open. Uh, you might want to put your newsletter or something like that there. It shows here this attachment is there for us. And then basically um, I'm going to go ahead and save the email message and then I'm going to continue. Uh, and then this just kind of gives me a brief summary of everything that's happening. You can get a report of the job on its completion. Uh, you'll want to skip duplicate email phone recipients so that um, if you happen to have you know, a brother and sister in the same building it only goes to one email and not both of them. I could schedule it to send later, but for this purpose I'm going to go ahead and send it right now. Um, and it's going to say, hey, it's been sent. That's wonderful. I'm going to continue here and I'm just seeing how close we are. I'm going to go ahead and grab my email here a minute and see if the message is here. And by golly, right there it is, test message. When I click on it, you'll see that um, it just has a really nice look to it. Uh, this the attachments there and it also gives uh, the people a chance to opt out if they don't want to receive these type of emails. If you have any question on this please uh, feel free to give me a holler and uh, I hope this was useful for you. Thanks.